The most detrimental misconception about measuring moisture in concrete is that you only need to measure at the surface. Um, yeah, not. In order to have a successful flooring job, we need to measure the moisture levels not at the surface, but deep within the slab, 40% deep within the slab to be specific. Not only will we go over why surface testing is wrong, but we'll talk about the right way to do concrete moisture testing. And while you're here, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. If you don't know the way moisture moves through the slab, that alone could be costing you a lot. But first, we need to understand there are three main source areas of moisture, above the slab, below the slab, and in the slab. And each of those contribute to the moisture level the floor covering will see once the slab is sealed. So, how does moisture move through the slab? As the concrete slab dries, moisture evaporates through the surface, meaning it is the driest part of the slab. As the relative humidity and temperature in the environment become conducive for the concrete to dry, moisture will move upwards in the slab and out to the ambient air. In doing this, the slab starts to develop a moisture gradient with more moisture on the bottom and less on the top. As long as the moisture in the air is pulled out, either with the HVAC unit or other methods of dehumidification, this process will continue until the concrete relative humidity becomes close to the ambient relative humidity. Now that we understand how the slab dries, let's talk about why the calcium chloride test doesn't work. The calcium chloride test has been around since the 50s and moved from a qualitative test to quantitative test without any real evidence to back it up. Doing it correctly requires multiple trips to the job site, multiple processes depending on the age of the concrete, and 60 to 72 hours to conduct the test once it is set. Not to mention that the test is on the surface and prone to damage. Compound that with the fact that it only measures at the surface and moisture issues are actually hidden deeper in the slab. Another popular device is a non-invasive electronic concrete surface meter. These are designed to help with the quick identification of surface hotspots where additional quantitative tests should be done. Great for this intent, but not meant for making a definitive installation decision. Since we know that moisture testing on the surface isn't accurate and can ruin a flooring job, let's look at why testing in the slab 40% is necessary for the best information. As the concrete dries, it starts to develop a gradient with more moisture on the bottom of the slab and less on the top as we've earlier discussed. This is while the slab is open at the top to the environment. Once the slab is covered, all of the moisture redistributes and equalizes from top to bottom. The relative humidity measurement obtained at 40% depth in the slab prior to installation has been scientifically proven to closely resemble the relative humidity measurement at the surface once flooring is installed. With relative humidity testing, you are testing a small pocket of air at a specific depth by drilling a hole into the concrete, installing an electronic sensor, and waiting 24 hours for definitive flooring installation results. But not using RH sensors properly can be just as costly as not measuring. You need to ensure you do everything possible to identify slab thickness and drill the hole to the appropriate depth. Make sure drilled hole is cleaned out and of all debris to ensure proper acclimation of the sensor. Wait 24 hours to get actionable results. Have ambient conditions at or near normal service conditions. And done correctly, RH testing is both fast and reliable, especially when compared to the calcium chloride test. Fast only takes 24 hours versus 60 to 72 hours or more. It's reliable with scientific rationale behind the method. And depending on the specific relative humidity testing equipment used, there may be even more advantages. To learn more about the RH testing system from Wagner Meters, visit rapidrh.com. We'll see you next time.